Okay, so this may be some of the most legitimate or valuable information you've probably ever gotten. Who knows? If it's not, then great. If it is, great. I really don't care. Um, I've been at this a long time. I'm not perfect at it, so I know that this type of uh, information is gold. Take it or leave it. I don't give a shit. So, check this out. When you're on these diets, see, I don't eat meat. I only eat seafood, fish, eggs, mainly egg whites. I don't eat any meat. If you want to call fish meat, great. Whatever. I don't eat any beef or poultry. Okay? So, or pork. So, seafood, sparingly. I do like uh, tilapia, um, uh, halibut, salmon. I like that type of stuff. And mainly shrimp. And every now and again, I'll have some calamari or something like that. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm, I'm just saying, it's a little bit more difficult for me be considering that I don't eat those other uh, meats. Okay? So also with the, in a sense, of protein too. It's, it's more difficult. Okay? Especially to get the numbers that you would get from eating beef. But okay. So moving along. You have to have these staples around. Okay? So like these save my butt. Whenever I get like sugar cravings, I'll eat these. And obviously it's opposite. Sweet, freaking salty. So I'll just force myself to eat these, okay? They're not always the best thing, but they do come through in a pinch. This is gold because these are high in calories. Yes, you shouldn't be eating them like crazy all the time, but if you're hungry, they can serve as a buffer, right? Especially if you're like flying. I fly a lot. So if you're flying, you can have these instead of the carb filled foods that they'll offer you on the planes you could buy like three of these for your flights four of them i sometimes need because i fly far so i will just eat these so that i can adhere to the diet adherence adherence if you screw up and have one of those meals it could throw you off for a week understand one meal when you're an endomorph, endomorph can throw you off for a week so this stuff's gold Sugar-free freaking gum. In, in, in excess, it could be unhealthy. But sparingly, when you're trying to fast, or when you're just trying to avoid eating, or maybe you're trying to cut that last little bit of weight, you can employ these suckers and, you know, maybe do like one meal a day and cut weight f fairly quickly. You know, like try and have like maybe like, I don't know, cap it at some point, you know, how many are in this? 14 so maybe have like four pieces in a day right spread out like when you get hungry you know chew that one piece until you know kingdom come you know what i'm saying <laughs> but but this works okay uh sugar-free gum works um uh, coupled with uh um soda stream you know like a uh, soda water these can come through especially when you're hungry late at night and you're fasting you don't want to eat I always talk about the salt, that's a given. But all of these seasonings, you know, like look, like the black pepper, you know, that's obvious. I got the rubs for my fish, you know, uh, these ones, Goya or whatever. These actually aren't my favorite, This, uh, these three, but I like them when it uh, comes time to like make like different broths and things like that. I have a lot of different recipes. I have a lot of different different things that I do. Um, I got these over in Africa, in Kenya, so it's different. Um, like real, actu actually real tomato sauce, not crap. These ones are, so I kind of try and hold on to those whenever I go to Africa so that when I come back, I still have some left. I had a bunch, but this is real stuff. It's not corn syrup. It's no freaking junk in these. This is actual gold right here, to be honest with you. But all these seasoning, seasonings serve a purpose. The taco, I've talked about that before. That serves a purpose for like my Mexican stuff. These for when I don't want to have any, uh, when I have that craving for like a sugary coffee, I'll have, you know, something like this, but with like a sweetener in it. So then I can, you know, kind of mask it, throw some, uh, um, I don't eat uh, dairy. So I throw some like uh, cashew milk in there with that. Or almond milk, you know, obviously your 
your regular garlic powders and things like this. But I mean, I go out and I find these and I mean, you know, I just stock up on them, all this stuff. You know, I go out and I stock up on it because you have to have, you have to have a variation. This is for my apples. If I'm ever feeling like I have a, re a really sweet tooth, I'll have like, uh, you know, some sort of like apples, pink lady apples, and I'll throw these on, throw the cinnamon on there. And that kind of, uh, uh, you know, gives it a little bit different of a flavor. But all these, I'm telling you, the roasted garlic and herb. See, got a couple of them. Uh, obviously your tomato sauces, you know, you can make a uh, pizza with egg whites. You slap this on there. You have two uh, uh, pans going. You slap uh, the, the egg whites on the pan. Um, one of them just cooks like the top layer of egg whites. And then the other one cooks the bottom layer. The bottom layer one, you let them cook for a few minutes, throw this on there, throw the cheese on there, then throw the other one on top. Then put cheese on top of that. It, 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 it's it's very good if, if, if you know what you're doing. I like this classical sauce. Everybody does it. But jerk sauce, uh, sauces left over, packets that I usually will, you know, incorporate in some meals. You know, obviously you got to be, you know, tactical, you know, because sometimes these cuts take a long time, man. You know, um, others, you know, ingredients. Here's some, you know, almond extracts. You can use that in your coffee. I mean, you know, you, everyone can use this stuff however they want to use it. I'm just saying that, you know, I make sure that my arsenal is freaking strong, right? The barbecue sauce, I got all kinds of different barbecue sauces. The enchilada sauces, more of the taco. I'm telling you, this type of stuff, just salt and pepper. Uh, this type of stuff makes the difference between you being able to adhere to a diet and not being able to adhere to a diet. You have to have variety. Um, you know, it, it, sometimes people are so like busy that they have to have someone prepare their meals. I'd say pay someone like a friend or somebody. If you're struggling, pay somebody to make your food and portion it out. Go buy everything for them, take it to their house, pay them by the hour or whatever to make your food for you. Pay several people, beg them. If you're having problems and you're just busy, beg people to make your food for you and portion it out. Usually if people know that you're trying to lose weight and, you know, and they, and they know that you're, you know, trying to get healthy, they will help you. Most people will. Most people will not leave you hanging, you know, out the dry if they know that you're trying to get into shape and trying to uh, improve your health, especially if you have children people, you know, depending on you, if you're a parent, you know, if you're just a kid, right? If, if your parents won't do it, go beg somebody else to do it. Go beg someone else to help you. But I'm telling you, this stuff is necessary. But then, the, like I said, the, the, the secret ingredient sometimes is that you have to get people to do your food for you. Because, 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 because sometimes it's just that you don't feel like making the stuff. Right. I have all this stuff. Sometimes I just go to the darn restaurant and spend 50 bucks and say, look, you know, make me this. Right. I could probably make it at home for half the price, but you don't always feel like cooking that stuff. All right. So, you know, adherence, adherence, adherence. We'll see if this video goes down in the history books of reality for endomorphs, because I've been doing this a long time. I know what I'm talking about. This stuff is necessary. Assistance is necessary from family and friends sometimes. And thinking, strategizing, planning, uh, measuring your body, writing things down, being extremely meticulous. It does take time to work it up to that level, but you can do it like one little baby step at a time. Remember, eat the elephant one little bite at a time. You're welcome.